another delicious review. Today I have a very rare Russian, I mean it is impossible to buy in my country and I got it from my friend Blind Fox from the South Africa which I am very grateful for. This is South African Defense Forces pack, 24 hour Russian. Mm, it is called day 3 so I guess this is many number 3. This is rather small pack as for, for 24 hours and uh, it is really smart. It was wrapped in a foil but it is not a complete box. You have the, one of the mains here which makes the box top which is quite a, a good idea and overall this paper looks like recycling, recycling paper so maybe they care about the ecology. I don't know what's, what's inside, I know only that the main here is uh, vegetarian, is savory samp and beans. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. This is a banana porridge, so I guess maybe something for breakfast. What else? Lactose free nutritional shake strawberry. Uh, noodle snack, noodle snack, wow, what could it be? Anyway, it's vegetable, because all the Russian, uh, all the Russian is vegetable. We have some isotonic sport drink, which is guyava and uh, orange. We have a uh, fruit roll, so I guess some kind of candies. Rooibos tea, the, the famous African tea some biscuits, maize bar, energy bar. Almost everything looks the same. Oh, this is fuel tablet. Something is... we have some powder here. I don't know if it's maybe these tablets or some sugar. Another fuel tablets. There are so many items here that I had to move them uh, to the side. Uh, tomato sauce. <laughs> what? It's fuel tablets. Uh, four packs of fuel tablets. Okay. Uh, creamer. Everything is a screamer, five screamers, I guess six screamers. Instant coffee. Nut butter and this is uh, instant coffee. Uh, well, we have a chutney here, fruit chutney. Very nice. Sugar, three packs. Nice matches. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have also salt. A lot of um, candies, vitamin candies, vitamin C candies with different flavors. Anyway, uh, fruit flavors. Oops. Look. We have water purification tablets, three. We have uh, chewing gum, which is wild cherry flavored. Five pieces. One more water tab tablet. Mm, we have another main dish which is lentils, beans and veg. Another main dish which is savory rice. Uh, two mm, <laughs> looks like small sausage. So two packs of 
cheddar cheese and some bags hmm long bags I don't know what's the purpose for the bags maybe this is for the water purification because we have also four tablets all right and we have <laughs> Uh, uh, part which is glued to the bottom which is uh, and this is many list what do you have for morning snacks part lunch and dinner we have also some nice additions I don't know if you can read it on the bottom kind of sentence yes it's not the lion it not the lion's roar that shows danger it's the silence so it is a sentence for soldiers. Okay, let me uh, prepare the breakfast and we'll taste it together. Okay, we have the water ready. Uh, because we, ha we don't have any um, spoon or fork or uh, any other cutlery, I will use my touristic set, foldable spoon. And let's make this uh, porridge. It is 250 mi milliliters of hot water. And I guess it contains milk. Yeah, I've checked this um, bag and it is not. Uh, oats but it is pre-cooked maize which I thought it looks like the maize okay now we have this uh, coffee <laughs> it's a yeah it's a big bag but uh, yeah my hands are wet but very flat Now the creamer. Ah. I'll try to drink it without the sugar because this is the normal way I do, but um, we'll see. The creamer hasn't dissolved completely. And we have these biscuits. All these items are packed for the company Sirac from Johannesburg. And uh, they are really fresh, so the best before date is in December 2020, which is one more year. They are broken, not all. Look like a very nice, like a full grain biscuit. Okay, so let me taste this porridge, this maize. <laughs> a big bowl, really. It's a quite a nice dish. You have a bit, um, a bit, maybe not crunchiness, but graininess here because of this grains. It is not very sweet. A slight banana flavor but not overpowering. I would add here maybe a bit of sugar, but it's a good dish for a breakfast. Let's have a sip of this coffee. Mm. Well, uh, I'm a bit surprised because this is something like 150 milliliters or five ounces of water which is a normal um, amount of water for such coffee but it doesn't taste of anything just like water so maybe I should add two bags of coffee or just make half of this water I don't know if it's written on this uh, package for how much it is let me check now it is not written here so okay so let's try the biscuits they have this uh, Syrac logo. I will try to show you. Looks like two mountains. They are very good. 
they are really whole grain biscuits and they are slightly sweet and I thought that maybe I could use one of the snacks I mean this processed cheddar to eat it together with these biscuits they have metal clips so instead of pouches you have this kind of clips maybe first let me let me uh, taste it on its own that's a really good cheddar cheese and fresh so let's have a biscuit with the cheddar yes it goes well together so you can have kind of also savory part of your breakfast very nice snack it's time for the lunch for the lunch we have the biggest meal uh, the biggest pouch in the Russian 300 grams and for the dinner we'll have two smaller uh, I have taken also an isotonic drink the guava flavor and I have something on a standby which is uh, tomato sauce and uh, fruit chutney and we have also a small steamroll gum so let me prepare this but in order to heat it up I guess it's a big pouch let's have a look oh yes very big pouch as you can see savory samp and beans I have the Polish flameless Russian heater and uh, which should fit I guess so I will try to use this to heat up this really really big pouch okay let's start with heating normally this uh, heater is used for something like uh, soft cans and this is the size of this can and this is bigger so I think I will do this this way and maybe squeeze a bit yeah maybe it's enough uh, as you could see uh, we have a lot of few tables tablets in uh, in this uh, ration but we don't have any stove anyway uh, because this is a pouch you have to have some I don't know some pot in, to, to boil the water or to empty this uh, content of this pouch to this pot so I will try to mix the Polish and South African uh, technology great let's check uh, if it fits into this envelope I doubt actually but maybe I have to hurry before this uh, starts to be really warm well unfortunately this bag is squeezed so the content is thicker and this envelope is really really flat so I will just leave it for something like let's say 15 minutes here let's make the drink I'm looking for something like Terranotch You have to be equipped with knife. Last Saturday, actually, I had a guava drink. I was in an um, Asia, let's say, Vietnamese bar, and they had uh, cans, Vietnamese cans with guava uh, drinks. So I'm really curious how it compares to that. I've had some problems with this flame restoration heater uh, because it is a bit old and it should work for 15 minutes 
but after five minutes it was really really cold and only after 10 minutes it started to work somehow so I've given it 25 minutes to heat and we have well not very hot but uh, let's say a warm meal okay we can try this it's not evenly heated I can see unfortunately but I cannot do much about it basically this is a vegetarian ration and uh, here we have canned tomatoes onions chutney and uh, vegetable stock some uh, oils a brown, brown onion powder and a bit of flour and as you know a lot of strange chemical ingredients we have a big beans small beans and some other beans well this is a quite nice dish it's something like beans in tomato sauce but you have different kinds of beans and some of them are a bit undercooked I guess it's a bit hard so normal just regular a bit spicy and you, you can taste the cumin here definitely so maybe yeah I don't know maybe let's uh, try this tomato sauce Oh, I thought it would be ketchup. It's something like oil. Well, this is definitely a flavor enhancer. So the flavor got much richer. Not very much tomato-ish, maybe, but really richer. Really a good, a good addition. Let's have a sip of this guava drink. Very tasty drink. Pretty sweet, but very fruity and uh, <clears throat> I would say natural I haven't had guyava fruit I mean fresh fruit and I don't know how it tastes but um, but this is a really really nice drink now this Timorol white cherry sugar free gum we have two such bricks here a bit uh, violet rosa pink Oh, it's very very fruity thing so mm, a bit tart and uh, a bit sweet very nice uh, flavor I haven't had this before so this was the lunch it's time for the snack part sorry for a little noise but my oven now is working I'm making something for tomorrow's night which is the New Year's Eve and uh, I cannot just stop it so um, we have here a lot of uh, items and actually we can do something like a small meal because we have here noodle snack vegetable and we have nut butter so peanut butter probably and uh, we have some um, sweets like this protein bar like fruit rolls and we have uh, isotonic drink and we have this um, lactose free nutritional shake which will be probably already um, enough of calories and I, I have also a vitamin C candy so let me prepare this noodle snack and uh, these drinks we are waiting for this um, noodle snack to be ready so I have dissolved the drinks the isotonic orange and this probably something like uh, hmm, nutritional drink strawberry uh, flavor but normally it is dairy drink but this is probably non-dairy so we have this banana maize um, protein bar which is made uh, in the South African Republic and this is a chocolate covered bar this fruit rolls let's have a look oh what a surprise I thought this will be hard candies but this is not and this nut butter 
unfortunately I have eaten all of these crackers so I will just try it on a spoon okay and this vitamin C candy wow with the letter C so we have our snack ready I think that three minutes should be enough there were no instructions how to make it so I just add some water and you, as you can see this looks like a thick soup a snack yes you can see so let's try it the smell is like a intense smell of powdered soup maybe something like mushrooms mm, but I don't know really what kind of flavor it is it is it, it tastes better than it smells it is of course artificial but um, but not that bad I don't know if I will eat everything let's try this isotonic orange drink well pretty sweet uh, but quite nice of course this is uh, something like artificial taste but but really nice for me it's a bit too sweet now I'm really curious about this fruit roll because we have here dried fruits and it looks really appetizing look on the cross section well, I'm not able to zoom it we have here apricots, peaches, pears and sultanas and it is really delicious so just dried fruits and sugar it is really good now this nutritional drink which the color is like a, I don't know chemical weapon hmm it's a bit strange the smell is like strawberries but the taste is something like milk drink no strawberry flavor it's not too sweet I guess quite decent now this protein bar banana flavor it is a typical mm, taste of protein bar so this is dense not too sweet and artificial banana taste well quite nice but really this is to to give you the energy to give you proteins so let's taste the vitamin C quite nice candy this is uh, sweet but also with this some sourness so not too boring and um, we have uh, this is kind of uh, powdered sugar candy so it is not too hard it is easy to bite it and and to chew it so quite nice so last but not least this peanut butter oh it has separated and made a mess well it's more or less peanut butter and maybe a bit on the crunchy side comparing for example to the US versions and this is probably let's check it this is packed in uh, uh, South Africa and we have peanuts, cocomas, hazelnut paste, sugar flavors something like this so I guess this is a bit on the sweet side also not too salty like a normal uh, peanut butter that I I'm used to so this was the snack part finally it's time for dinner we have here uh, two mains actually let's say mains containing two parts one is savory rice and the second is lentils beans and vegetables so I will heat both things up but this time not using an FRH uh, because I don't have any spare but uh, just in the hot water let's see what's inside as you can see something has leaked and 
yeah it's it's dirty yeah so it looks like a normally pouch normal pouch so uh, it's probably uh, possible to heat it yeah, in the water there are heating instructions here and one of the methods is using uh, hot water so boiling water for let's say eight minutes let's unpack this look perfectly and uh, for drinking I have this rooibos or oh, however should should I read it a uh, rooibos tea this uh, red tea made of uh, special I guess tree in the South Africa and it is funny because it is a, a small bag of tea and packed in a huge foil Yes, yeah, so it's just a regular bag of tea and I will make this tea and I have sugar on standby. So we have everything ready. Look at this. Uh, this savory rice, it's not only rice, it's only half of the content, but we have also onions, sweet corns, green beans, tomato paste and some herbs. And this small lentils, beans and vegetable stew we have of course beans, we have different kinds of beans, onions, potatoes, green bean peppers, tomato paste, butternut, yeah, and some white wine, vinegar and so on. It smells really fantastic. And this uh, tea is has not fitted into my tray, but uh, has really a strong color and a nice smell. So it's time to taste. I'm really hungry. Have a green bean here, maybe something green. Very flavorful rice, I would say. It has a lot of cumin. It's a bit spicy. Just a bit of tomato, not too much. But yeah, we have some corn here. Yes. It's a, it could be just a dish on its own. Now let's try this stew. We have lentils, different kind of beans. Oh, it's very tasty, but it is a different taste than uh, the rice. However, the list of ingredients is similar. So it doesn't have any cumin and it is not spicy. So it's it's a bit on the sour side, I would say. Now mm, let's have a taste of this tea. Well, it's really difficult to describe you the smell and the taste. This smell is just the one in the world. So you have to buy this tea and you you have to smell it, and the taste is the, more or less like the smell. It's kind of hmm, not herbs. You know, it's not a tea, it's a kind of um, infusion of uh, some something. Well, I can say that the smell is, it smells a bit like honey, but it do, it's not sweet. So, I will use this, this sugar. Oh yes, I can I can um, uh, recommend to uh, put the sugar in this tea because the flavor is much it's it's richer and you got this uh, flavor of honey something like this so it is now it is really good so let me finish this I will use also the salt because uh, this rice is a bit needs the salt uh, in my opinion. And uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, subscribe my channel, I hope to see you in my next interesting review of the Russians, bye.